Here we are the day after the rest day, stage 16 of this year's Tour de France, 168 kilometres today. A couple of climbs early on in the stage and then with a second category climb just before the finish. The top of the last climb is only 12 kilometres from the finish, a quick run down into Gap. Shane Bannon, see you with me. What do you think of tomorrow's stage, Shane? A, a typical classics type stage tomorrow. Uh, a lot of teams haven't done anything in this tour, tour as yet. They'll be really looking to go on the attack. Uh, it's going to be very fast, vicious f first 40 kilometres until until that the right uh, group rides away. And hopefully we've got a couple of our riders in there. So we're looking at uh, Albacini again? Uh... I think it's really classic style stage tomorrow. So Albacini, Gerrans, uh, they've certainly marked it in the book. It's going to be a tough one. Sky will be trying to uh, hang on to the lead again. The team will have to control it from the start. As Shane mentioned, they'll need to let the break go if they are. Uh, that will be ideal scenario for them. And then just control on how many minutes they have, depending on who's actually in the break and any dangers to the GC. I believe in Shane too, a break will go through to the finish. My tip tomorrow will be uh, Gilbert. Uh, someone has to save something for BMC because uh, they're not having the Tour de France they came here uh, expecting. So uh, that'll be my tip and Shane. Simon Gerrans. Difficult to pick, you've got some riders there that can uh, crack at this one, so it must be I difficult for you. Any Orica Green Edge rider. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Remember, Good guys, one, fellas. this was the descent into Gap where Lance went flying off the road. They asked him afterwards, um, did it remind you of mountain biking? He said, it reminded me of farming. <laughs> and then I just can't remember who Lance is anymore. I've scrubbed the, the memory. Text,